Hi, I'm Kenneth Butler with Laptop Magazine, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to remove the hard drive in your Apple MacBook. So before you get started, you want to make sure you have a couple of tools at the ready. Um, first things first, you'll need a quarter. Um, second, you'll need a nice notebook-friendly screwdriver. Third, you'll need a Torx head screwdriver, and of course you'll need the hard drive that you're going to be installing into the system. Step number one is take out the battery, and you'll need something with a flat surface, flat thin surface which is why we have a quarter here. So take the quarter, give it a nice 90 degree turn, and the battery should pop right out. Next you'll want to touch the metal plate that's located just below the battery so that you can get rid of any static electricity that you might have stored up from working in your socks around the house or whatever. Then take the screwdriver, and there are three small screws along the top rim here that you'll want to take out. Lefty loosey, righty tidy is always handy. Keep in mind that these screws won't come all the way out, so once you get to a certain point, you can just stop and move on to the next one. This is an L shaped bracket, so you'll realize that once you unscrew it, it'll all come out at once. Next, keep your eye out for the white tab that's attached to the hard drive. It might be helpful to use the screwdriver once you see the white tab. It helps it come out easier. When you've got the white tab, just pull on the hard drive gently and it comes right out. Once you've got the hard drive in your hands, you'll need to grab the torque screwdriver in order to remove these black screws from the aluminum chassis. And once you've got the last screw out, the chassis will detach from the hard drive and you can insert your new one which we happen to have waiting right here. Once your new hard drive is in the chassis you just want to make sure that the ports are lined up so that the screws can hold it in place. Once you've got the chassis reattached to the new hard drive simply fold back down the white tab and slide it back into its new home in the notebook. And now to reattach the brace, just slide it into its groove here. There we go. And because the screws never really come out in the first place, all you have to do is make sure they line up into the groove. Sounds like a 70s song. and then reattach them. So once you've made sure that the brace is secure, you can reinsert the battery, like so. You'll need your quarter to give it a reverse 90 degree turn, snaps right back into place, and then voila, you're all done. Your MacBook now has a new hard drive, so you can install a fresh copy of Snow Leopard, and if you have it, restore backups from Time Capsule or Time Machine.